this is the value for the response message JSON. And what we want to do in here is we want to get the value of the content inside the message inside the choices array. Now, to get this value, what I'll do is that I'll create some DTOs, which is going to be the object representation of what you see in here. For that, I'll just stop the app and then go to Solution Explorer. I'll create a new folder. I'm going to name this folder DTOs. And then I'll just right click. I'm going to add a class. I'm going to name this class Open AI Response. And inside here, we could see that we had an ID, prop string ID. We had an object, so public string object. Then we had the int created, public int created. Then we had the model, public public string model. And then we also had an array which was the list of choices. So for that, I'll just type in here public list choice, choices, and then get set. Down here, let's create the choice. So public class choice. The choice had three properties. The first one was the index, so public int index, get set. And then we had the message, so public message. So message, message, get set. Then we also had the string finish reason, get set. And let's also create the message. So in here, public class message. The message had only two properties, the role and the content. So public string role and public string content. Now this is all you need to do in here. Just close the class. Let us go back to the home controller. And now in here we need to process the response message.json. So for that, I'll just type in here var response is going to be json convert dot deserialized object. The deserialized object is going to be the open AI response. And it will take as a parameter the response message JSON. From here, we are going to get the content and we are going to assign the content to a view bag. So for that view bag, dot result is equal to the response dot the choices. This was an array. We want to get just the first one. And you might get more than one choice depending on the temperature value. And then dot message. And then dot content. The other view bag that we need is the view bag that we already have on the index up here. So I'll just copy and then just paste it. And then just return the view. I'll just say return view index. So now let us go to the index.c sharp HTML because in here we need to also add some more code so we can display the response. And for that, just after the form, I'll use an if condition. So if view bag dot result is not null. So I want to show this code section only if I have a value in the view bag dot result. So that's why it's very important that the value in here and the value that you're using here match div. And then I'll use the class mt4. And then I'll just close the div. So I need to change this to class. Change this to class. And then here I'll have a p tag, just result. And then just below the p tag, I'll have another div. 
I'll just close this div. The class is going to be alert, then alert info, and then at HTML dot row. And I'll use the row method for languages like Arabic, Chinese, etc. Because they have special chars, I need to use the HTML row so they are encoded and decoded properly. For that, inside the row, I'll pass as a parameter the view bag dot result. This is all I need to do. I'll just go to the home controller, give it one more check, and then just start the app and see the result. So now I'll just type this is a sentence. I'll select the language, let's say Turkish, and then translate. I reach the breakpoint, I'll just remove the breakpoint and click continue. And you can see the result, bu bir cümle. Let me just copy this value, I'll paste it up here. And then just translate this to, let's say, Italian, and then translate. You see that you have a response in here. And what's important is that you don't need to define the source language because OpenAI is smart enough to know what the text language is. It just needs the parameter on what to translate that text. I'm just going to paste it in here one more time. And then let's just select, for example, Hindi. Let's select Arabic, for example. We just paste and then Select language, click translate, and then you have the response in here.